Where's the mail? All right, we're back with another episode of the Horrible Beer Blog. Today we are doing Gigantic's Crystal Cloud Polarized Hazy IPA. Um, I don't really call this a hazy IPA. The whole point of being a hazy beer is that you can't really see through it. It looks like a glass of orange juice. You can yeah, see it perfectly this is, through this. Yeah. So. Well, and it's funny because, I mean, you look at the bottle and there's a small description of what they've done. It says, it says, they've innovated hazy beer by adding a polarized haze, making a double hazy beer that appears clear. Kind of doesn't make sense. I mean, it's, it's an interesting description to say the least. Um, it's two kind of contradictory terms, you know, yeah, like absolutely. hazy and clear, very much not the same. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, Gigantic's put out some pretty good beers prior to this, as far as the yeah. hazy beers go, I'm pretty City, sure. I think it was called? Uh, yeah. Cloud uh, City was great. Yeah, Cloud City, they had, like, I can't even think of the other ones that they had. Glow, uh, Glow Cloud. Glow Cloud or something like that. That was a really lines. good one, too. Those were really good. Um, I mean, those I'd say compared to this in that small like bracket of beers that they put out that are hazy, this probably not. I mean, just based on looks alone, probably not one of my wouldn't be one of my go tos. No, um, it's pretty bitter. Like right off the bat, like you get that bite right in the back of your jaw, which is something I don't mind at all. I like it, but when I'm drinking a hazy, it's kind of you don't get that with most hazy beers. Yeah. I, I, like I said, I dig it, but it wasn't expected. But it's super sharp right on the back of your palate. Um, the hot varietals used for this guy are Citra, Mosaic, and Crystal Hops. Um, yeah. oh, for the beer itself, I think the beer is good. But the beer is good. Yeah, the actual beer in itself, which is obviously what we're what this is all about, uh, is the, the beer. Um, it's good. It's different. It's kind of a nice change up in like, I, I mean, you know, as much as I say that I love the hazy stuff and everything, it is kind of refreshing to have something that's not a hazy beer and, and has kind of a little bit more vibrant flavor to it. The mouthfeel on this is a lot different. This is a straight up like super crisp right mm -hmm. away. You don't get like that whole milkiness that you get from like a milkshake IPA or yeah, like you're chugging a three layer or something. It's a lot different. Yeah. So. Yeah, you can even, like, the density, even. Yeah. A lot of times with those hazy beers, you're drinking them, and like you said, it feels like you're drinking a milkshake. They're just really thick and full-bodied. Yeah. This is very refreshing, especially, like, hot day, man. It's been pretty hot these oh, last couple yeah. days, so yeah. uh, this is perfect as far as that goes. Uh, I really like it. Um, like I said, it just kind of threw me off. I'm expecting a hazy beer. It's not really hazy. Yeah. Um, not that that's a bad thing. I don't think it's bad at all, but... Not what we were, well, not what we were expecting. yeah, not what we were expecting, <laughs> um, which is kind of cool. I mean, the last few beers that we've done, I think have predominantly, if not all been hazy beers yeah. with this blog so far. So, um, which is fair enough. I mean, like I, like we've said before, that's what's in right now. That's what people like, uh, but it is kind of cool to have something a little, little different. Yeah. Um, I'm still not sure though. I'm not sure what their take on it was. I don't know. You know, like you were saying, why don't you just call it a, a juicy IPA? Juicy like, IPA. why? Did I don't. You guys, I don't, forget the haze. I don't. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think you need to have hazy yeah. in there. Yeah. To me, at that point, it seems a little bit more of like a sales tactic. You know, throw haze or hazy in the front of your beer, and people are just gonna grab it yeah. by nature. Um, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not bashing it or anything. No, not at all. not what I was expecting. Not at all. But. 7% alcohol, that's respectable. 7%, yeah. So, yep. 7%. And we've said before too, like, the six and a half, seven percent 7% mark for these kinds yeah. of beers, I think is perfect, at least yep. for me. So, um, yeah. I mean. Yeah. Still one think? to five. Um, I I'd give it a 3.5. The reason why I'd go to the mid mark is it's not really what it says it is, you know? Like, it's not a yeah. hazy beer. Uh, yeah. A juicy IPA for sure. But um, is it good? Absolutely. Yeah. But it just wasn't what we were expecting, or at least what I wasn't expecting. But mm -hmm. still a good beer. 
I just think uh, calling it a polarized IPA might be a middle, little misleading if you're into hazy beers. Sure. So if you're into that whole cloudy, drinking cloud kind of thing, yeah. this probably won't be for you since it's a little more harsh on the hops and the bitterness right away. Yeah. But I dig it. I like it. So. Yeah. Uh, I would probably say the same as far as the rating goes. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just a... a I guess, yeah, the biggest thing, like you were saying, just to back you up, is if you're a, you know, beer, you know, you're looking for that new beer, especially you're looking for the new hazy, you know, you're standing there at the grocery store and you're saying to yourself, okay, I've had that one, I've had that one, I've had that one. You see this guy, you're like, whoa, what is this? This is new, it says hazy IPA, I'm gonna grab it. You get home, pour it, you're thinking, you know what what's going on here so just with the a little bit misleading i guess in and of itself however if you do read the description it will tell you like yes, yes it is a clear or appears clear but regardless um not my favorite but not terrible yeah so yeah. Well, with people being so hazy crazy it's just boom they're gonna grab it they're yeah. not gonna read that description right away mm -hmm. so but like i said it's a great beer so yeah, yeah. That about does it for us on this one, guys. Um, thank you, Gigantic, for making a delicious beer. We look forward to the next Hazy you're going to put out. Um, like I said before, like, share, comment, do all that stuff. Do it. And we would appreciate you for it. So Seriously, do it. Yeah. Like, I've seen that you guys don't do it. And you we know you're it. viewing the videos. We see the views, but Just there's no something. comments. Tell me say hello. Say something about this. Yeah. How right was your here. day? Like, how are you doing? Come on. We can talk. Serious. We're, we're friends. We're all friends here. We're friends. All right, well, thank you, and stay tuned for another episode. We'll post them when we feel like it. Have a wonderful day. Oh, well.